Clive, it's been a dramatic old season on Game of Thrones, this one, hasn't it? As if it could get any more dramatic. Red Wedding, what was your reaction to that episode? Well, uh, having read the book and knowing it was going to happen, even then, reading it, it was really shocking. And it, it is very understandable. There's a whole lot of stuff on the web of people who didn't know it was coming, seeing it coming. And it was played so beautifully, so horribly and so feelingly. That was when, when Caitlin knew she was gone, that her son had gone. It was heartbreaking. I mean, apparently the, the crew were crying and all kinds of that. Well, not surprisingly. Brilliantly, brilliantly done. David Bradley was just awesome. He was incredible, absolutely. He was incredible. Um, when we were shooting the previous scene where we arrived and he introduced his daughters, he has about 20 daughters with strange names which sound all the same, he did it 75 times because we were there all day doing this side, that side, that current, this current, and he did it perfectly every time. It was fantastic. He's a, he's a wonderful actor. What a, memory. what a memory. Obviously playing Blackfish and you were at the wedding but managed to get out of there, fortunately. But who do you think Blackfish would like to take his revenge on now? Charles Dance. A very, very slow death. Perhaps tearing his skin off with a very sharp knife and then killing it. I wonder if Blackfish would have that, would actually feel like that himself, I don't know. I think, I don't know, it's a, it's a horrifying thing to have, to fall for it. I mean, the, the idea that you fell for it, that he could do something as treacherous, really horrifying. I mean, that was part of it. You could hardly believe that somebody would go that far for something apparently so trivial. And yet that was a lesson that the boy king didn't learn. It's statehood first, love second. I mean, if you could bring any of those characters back that we sadly lost in that episode, who would you bring back to life? I, I think I'd bring Caitlin back to life. Just a, a, fantastic, a fantastically rounded woman. And a, a, I guess it's something to do with the performance as well. I'd bring them all back, really, because it's... A, I, I wonder if, by getting rid of the Starks, you may have preempted the end of the series in a kind of way. I mean, I, I don't know. Obviously, the books go on and on and on, but somehow you've removed, if you like, the good guys. They're not entirely, they're flawed and all of that, but it's, that's part of the shock. You, you can't imagine that you're going to take them away. It was such a shock when Sean got his head cut off. And now to carry on with a pretty unlucky family. They very are, which are, aren't they? I mean, what do you think's left for the Starks now? Because I mean, there's obviously there's Arya still left, and there's um, Bran and Rickon as well. A long gap before they even have a chance of getting back into the game. In, in truth, I mean, all the all the, the Northern Lords have deserted them. They have no political support. They have no adults to lead them at the moment, unless the boy comes back from the north, and it, and he would never be accepted anyway. So it's a it's a very, very black moment in the history of that family. I mean, there's been various kind of theories flying around online, and one of them is called the Lannister Honeypot theory. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's where some people were speculating whether Talisa, Una Chaplin's character, might have been sent by the Lannisters to defeat Rob in some way. What do you think of that? Wow. <laughs> that, that, that seems to me... Intriguing and fascinating. I don't think that's... Uh, no, not at all. I mean, what kind of qualities do you think you need to stay alive in Game of Thrones? And do you think Blackfish has those qualities that he needs to keep alive? Apparently you need to go to the toilet just at the right moment with number one. You need to be able to look after yourself physically. You need to be a soldier. And that's number one. It's not a... The, there is diplomacy. There are delicate skills going on somewhere. But in the end, it's the guy who has the political clout to get somebody to kill enough people for them. And certainly um, Blackfish, even if he had the support of the Northern Lords, I doubt if he's, he's not King General material, he's a soldier, a very, very fine soldier, um, and a very good family man. And who do you think will be there, left standing at the end of the day, when obviously George R. R. Martin hasn't finished all the books yet, but when the, all the books are done, when all the TV series have been done, who do you think will be left standing? Charles Dance <laughs> and his horrible family. I mean, how do you think you'd fare in Blackfish as well? Because it's such a it's such a harsh, terrible, stark world they live in, isn't it? 
I've often thought, I mean, given that my father's generation went to war, you, you, as a boy you grow up thinking, could I do that? Could I be brave enough to face the possibility of my dying or the person next to me dying? And I always come up with the answer that I'd be the, the one who'd be terrified. I'd be the one who'd be shaking in a corner, unable to get out of the trench or trying to find some excuse not to get into the bomber to go bombing people. But then that was true of my father's generation. They were just ordinary guys like me. In the end, if you have to do something like that, you'll do it. It's clear that there are, I've played rugby with guys who are, I was going to say a very rude word there, um, who are, are almost mad in their capacity for a certain kind of violence. And you know that in the generations that were soldiers, those are the guys that you need around because they get their blood up so quickly, they're capable of doing anything. I'm not that kind of person, but you, you can never second guess who you'd be if somebody killed one of your children. What would you do? What would I do? I don't know. But the answer to your question is no, I don't think I'd survive in that world. It's such a, it's such a brutal world. There's so many deaths, least of all in the Red Wedding, but throughout the whole three seasons. I mean, if we had to lose Blackfish, how would you like to see him go out? Killing Charles Dance. <laughs> Ch challenging to, stupidly challenging him to a duel, but somehow winning it. Or any of them. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing against Charles Dance. It just... Absolutely. And what are you most looking forward to going back to work for season four? Um, well, just to, to, to see how the character is developed. I mean, there's been some, uh, it's interesting reading the blogs that, that there are people who are great fans of the books who are very uncomfortable about the way in which um, the TV series has realised Blackfish. It's not quite what they imagined. They wanted a more gentle, uncle familial man, family duty honour. Black, for, for Blackfish, I think, in the books, is definitely family first. Uh, uh, so I imagine that uh, the qualities he had in the scene with Caitlin at the very beginning when he first arrived are the ones which would be developed in the future but you never know he may become a maniacal revengeful soldier again even for such an old man